What's up, y'all? What's up? We're here. We're at Lloyd. Uh, in my opinion, Calgary, Alberta's best disc golf park. And we're testing out Castaplast today. That stands for throw plastic in Swedish. I'm not sure. We're going to go with that. So uh, what do we got here today? We got the Berg to throw. Uh, who hasn't thrown a Berg before? I know I have a few times. Never been able to like really test it out, so this is going to be fun. Um, then next up the line, we're throwing the yarn. That's a 4.5303. Anything to say about that, Gonzo? Uh, that's just their newer approach disc, so okay. I'd be interested to throw that. Got some Caxes here. I gotta say, this K1 plastic, Cax K1 plastic, feels amazing. Can't wait to throw that. Then we're throwing a Lots. I hope to have lots of throws with this. <laughs> okay, next up, let's see, what do we got here? The stall, one of my favorite discs. I've begged a stall for a long time, actually, so I'm excited to show you guys what they can do. I'm gonna stall one into the basket. <laughs> Should I introduce this one with the mids? The goat, I'm going to throw this bad boy. Okay, we got the Grimes uh, and the Grime X. Interesting, gonna throw those The ones. X is just the more stable version, ultimately. Finally, the Rask. We've got just, uh, I guess, your normal Rask here. And then we've got our boy, Luke Sampson Tour Series Rask, which uh, hopefully we can represent for our guy, Luke Sampson, on today's video and not throw these Rasks like yeah. garbage. These also aren't our discs. Our buddy Nate has Shout kindly out. lent us all these discs. Shout so out to our buddy Nate. I would say, especially for the Grimes, a few of these things are a little bit less stable than they would be fresh, so. Yeah, imagine these are all slightly beat in. And, uh, the rask getting, is a lot getting a bit of a worn kind of uh, review here. Cool beans. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're playing a bit of a, basically like our last review. We're both gonna throw two discs off the tee. We're gonna play our best one. Um, and for the winner of today's challenge, we have this lovely, fresh, pretty fresh Rico. First run Rico X. Yes. The winner <laughs> gets this. Yes. In beautiful K1 plastic. Have I told you how much I like <laughs> K1 plastic? I've thrown the yarn, y'all. Um, I'm hoping to just put it pretty flat, have it not fade at all, and just cut back into the basket here. We'll see if it can do that. Or if I can throw it on the right line. Interesting. Could have got it a little more flat, for sure. That kind of died in the air. A little I would say the yarn is probably like zone-esque, harp. Yeah. So next up, I got the Cax 6-speed, six 6403. Uh, we're going to try the same shot. It's just, hopefully I'm strong enough this time. <laughs> Extra speed got me what I needed there. So, okay, what are you throwing here, guys? Uh, I'm gonna start with the cax as well. Okay. The soft one. Soft cax. Oh man, I'm so disappointed I didn't. You grab didn't throw the one. soft one. You had them both, but you dropped it. <laughs> yeah. So my guess was that it, because it's zero three, it'd probably be a little bit more stable, but I might have torqued on it a bit. Uh. Goat, goat, <laughs> goate, goate. You know, it wasn't too bad. I just threw it way too low. So uh, I'm thinking with the mids, I found seemingly with yours, you said you didn't get a good rip on yours. I guess I didn't get a perfect one on mine, but didn't really glide as much I was as much as I expect my mids to glide. That's my one critique of them. I liked the Cax, to be honest. It just uh, didn't seem as stable as it you'd, you'd guess off the numbers. For sure, the Cax was gorgeous. I really enjoyed that flight that it gave me. Um, definitely a little more understable than I expected too, but stable enough to hook up in the end there. So, and as always, uh, the one thing about cast Plast is just they have it, it just incredible feeling plastic. Yeah. I don't know, it just feels so nice, so. Uh, I might go as far as to say it's the best feeling, especially K1 Soft, incredible. Yeah. All right, I'm pretty happy with this throw. Not very happy with this lie. Are you behind a tree? Behind two trees. Uh, since we don't have Ricos, we've opted to go Berg Life putts. So we're both going to be 
Oh, my. I drew on it. The game of throws. Uh, how's that go? Uh, what, the theme? Yeah. Do we get in trouble for doing themes? I don't no, think not so. Not if I do it with my mouth. Well, then you figure it out. <laughs> I can't <remember laughs> it now. <laughs> There you go. Birdie. Do you want me to be really far away? That's fine. Or do you want me to get some of your difficulty hey guys, level? This is, this is actually literally my first putt with the bird. He I wouldn't look too much into this. I'm just stretched out and uncomfortable. But if it goes in, this is my new favorite putter. Oh. Okay, here we are. Hole four. It's a big, uh, what does this go? Left to right, kind of uh, shapes up real well for Johnny and his left hand. If you could shoot straight the whole time though, then you're also money, because it's basically straight ahead. Sure, yeah. With what some are you trees. throwing here for your first um, throw? I'm gonna try the lots first. Lots. And I'm oh. guessing it's something like an undertaker. Okay. And the, the wind seemed to actually be a little bit head on the last hole, so it shouldn't turn over too much, if I don't throw it bad. I didn't. I threw it real bad. Oh, uh, blame the birds, I guess. In case you guys are wondering, we're in peak bird mating season. I don't know if you can <laughs> see them out there, but they're having uh, it sounds bad. a real orgy in that field. <laughs> That's a real bird orgy. See, that's the Grime X, and it on Heiser has gone over a lot. Oh, yeah. You're somewhere down there, yeah. So, I don't know if that's because it's used or if it's just understable. I'm going to start with uh, our boy, Luke Sampson. Oh, we should see the thumb track on it. Too, or so this one's got track? the thumb track, yeah. or the hand, the finger track. Fits for, your forehand, for yeah. Like if you're a Paul Macbeth point. type and you're throwing like this, not very useful. But for me, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, Luke, let's go. It's stable. See, I put that on it. a much better line. Try that again. I'm sorry, Luke. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's not the disc. It's me. Ooh, and that's understable. All right. Well. All right. Well, that's a par four. We're gonna have some work to do. <laughs> okay. Well, here's my the drive I'm gonna take. I'm gonna actually throw the grim again on a backhand. <laughs> Grime? Uh, yeah. On backhand. Grime or grim, but we're I'm gonna try to have it fade this. with its understability. A little S flight through there. We'll see what I can do. So I, it's still, still very understable. Um, even from a standstill, I didn't think I was going to be able to get enough power on it to get it to turn over all the way like that. But okay, though. Try that again with the CAX. Hopefully it gives you that little bit of stability. This is the K1 Soft. I love the feeling of this disc. Oh, just caught that tree. You know, if I had the speed of the, the grime and the flight of the lots, or the uh, CAX that I just flew there, would have been perfect. So, Grime X turned over a lot. We're going double berg. Double berg with a little turnover. I think so. The game of throws. Not terrible. No, it's pretty good. Oh, that's terrible. There you go. Sorry, Nate. Now, how do you find the berg for like putting it on a turnover line, having it hold, does it hook up out of it? Because um, uh... I've had a Berg for a little bit now. I find it's, it, I wouldn't describe it as like overstable. It seems heavy with not a ton of glide, but if you put it on Anheuser, it's not just going to pull out of it. Yeah. It's, it's not a zone or the yarn. It'll hold the Anheuser, you're saying? It can, yeah. yeah. But it does have a little bit of stability, right? And it, and it, it feels like it's got good distance control, so right. it, it, you're not going to throw it too far, generally. Generally. Foraging for birds. I was just asking about how bird holds an Anheuser line. I, I, should, I should specify that power is also required to keep it on it, but it will hold. Mm -hmm. 
I like them. Reliable. Reliable approach disc. Hey, this is double bird, right? <laughs> A bug went right in my mouth. <coughs> I don't know if I spat it out or if I swallowed it. Oh. oh. It's not even you. I, I was <laughs> fine with that. I was, I, think I was standing in the way of it oh. for a long time. <laughs> I thought you were trying to wake me up. No. <laughs> All right. Hole five. This is uh, an ace hole. It's still first, but I guess it doesn't matter I'll since you're holding the camera. Yes, yeah, so I've... Cadensburg? Oh, this is our buddy Cadence. Also but I'm going to throw Cadensburg now. It's going to be the magic one for me. <laughs> oh! Stable. Birds are stable. It's that looked good. It's so shaded in there. It's hard to track. We'll go bird first, though. <laughs> oh, it dodged that, but uh, an ace it is not. Next up, the Rico X. Show it. What numbers we got? We got three three, three zero two. Three zero two. It feels wind. Threes. It feels windy in my face. I'm constantly haunted by these three threes. I'm actually gonna throw the yarn because it's all right. Sorry, because of, of the wind. Yes, yeah, sorry, Rico. You've been relegated. Uh, the Rico's. You know what? <laughs> uh -oh. The Rico the X coming back. <laughs> is more stable than the normal Rico. So headwind. Good luck. Let's go. I missed, but it was nice and stable. Yeah. Was that the Rico? It was. Wow. Okay. Held that line pretty well. That was a. Anything a, to say about that? Um, I wish I threw it better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's recording. No, I, I mean like. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So two to one. Okay, so we're about. I don't know. Pretty close to done the cast class review. Yeah, we're gonna do Thoughts? one final hole. Thoughts so far, Gonzo? Um. Maybe we should warm up more before we do these because I feel like throwing is being suspect. But it's I'm been okay. In, We've had some good throws. Fair. I'm, I'm enjoying the discs a lot too. I've had a little bit of experience with them. I guess just boring them from our buddy, but yep. Um, I do like them. Hopefully yep. on nine here we can stretch some of these drivers out and get some better throws going. Yeah. The biggest thing uh, I think um, for me, Castaplast has the best feeling plastic. Um, they just do, I don't know what it is. I don't actually bag a lot of Castaplast. I don't know why, maybe one or two discs. But I truly believe they have the best feeling plastic in the yeah. game right now. If you can touch K1 soft somewhere in some store, just feel it and yeah. bend it. If that's what you're looking for, a really just good Love it. feeling disc in your hand, something that's grippy, um, definitely go with these guys. Yeah. So far, so good. Let's finish her up. Here we are, hole nine. I think probably everyone's favorite hole to film out here. Yeah, this and, this and 12. Yeah, we'll 12 definitely 12 has a cooler basket, time. but I feel like 9 is just a nicer, more open looking yeah. shot. Yeah, we're going double rask. Double rask. It's seasoned in, so if I throw it nicely, it should flex anyways. Let's see it. It's just that finger track is getting my nails. See, that's a lot of turn for... Like fresh, it wouldn't be like that. Just Still inside the, good rip. the wood pile. So that's a, oh, I know it's a bit anhyzer, but that's a lot of, it went left. Yep. We're going into the tree a little I bit. I said, look at that. Oh, I thought you said, where did that go? I'm throwing the Grime X and the Grime. I, I don't know which one I want to throw first. Can you just, Rip this super hard and see what happens on a slight hyzer. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that roller. Oh yeah. Woo! Right, I'm gonna try the same throw with the Grimix and then we can see how the stability differs. If it flips over and becomes a roller again, well, then we know. That's about exactly what you want, right? <laughs> um, 
I guess the Grime's pretty beat in, I'd imagine. Uh, the Grime X, that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for in a distance driver. Uh, it's gonna give me fade when I throw it hard, or sorry, it's gonna give me turn throwing it hard, but it's gonna have a reliable fade at the end, which is really exactly what we saw there. I put it on a slight hyzer, threw hard, gave me that turn, reliable fade, loved it. If you're gonna get a Luke Sampson Rask instead of just a regular Rask, why? Um, Cause I think the regular Rask is super beefy, brand new. Yeah. The Luke Sampson, I think is a little bit more workable, brand new. Yeah, yeah. These both broken in, I think that Luke Sampson one too is probably an ideal flight for uh -huh. most. And why wouldn't you want to support a player like Luke Sampson? He's out here grinding, working hard, former ball player. Come on, people. He's not out here. Well, not out here. But he's somewhere. he was, I would. Hey man, like as a right now. Calgary, play around with Let's Dolph boys. <laughs> We're here with you, buddy. I'm throwing the goat, the goot, the goate. Said I couldn't make this throw. Get it, goate, goate. All right. <laughs> oh wow. Lovely. Loved it. Loved it. Super straight. I didn't even have to throw it that hard. What is this, like a justice? Or? They, you, justice meets a harp. Okay, we're gonna see how their stable mid flies on a forehand. Hopefully I can throw it good. <laughs> oh wow, it's really stable. I didn't get a lot on it. My first one was the best. Yeah, probably just tentative <laughs> on that. Yeah. All right, there's the rask. Back to the wood pile. There's the tee box. Which isn't bad for the glide rating. This yeah, is pretty far. pretty good, yeah. What's the glide on that rask? Uh, if it's like the Samson one, it's only a three. Very good, very far throw, that's that's down there. Um, I wanna throw Berg twice again, but it, I'm gonna try the Cax again to mix okay. it up. So we'll go Cax first. Get up. Oh, you know very what's nice. too bad? It got mega ground play, but it almost hit yeah, the pole and six. stopped. I'd say regularly, I just wouldn't be throwing something as fast as the Cax this distance but i wanted yeah. to try it and it was actually really Very nice, nice. A straight throw but yeah, a lot of ground play off it yeah here's the game of throws Ooh, i like it get in go oh on the camera it looked like it was running it looked really nice yeah <laughs> my brain's lost track of score that's minus two for you currently minus two for me but this putt is for the rico x yay <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start with actually things I uh, liked, of course. Um, as I said, the stall, I didn't actually, did I throw this today? I'm not sure, but I bag one of the stalls. I find it to just be really good, reliable, super overstable fairway driver. Um, highly recommend it for uh, forehand players looking for something with a very reliable fade. I love the stall. Now for today, okay, uh, Berg K1 soft plastic, amazing. And the Berg, just such a fun disc. Uh, Flies like a rock, very reliable on whatever angle you put it Not on. Not a in of a rock. A Sorry, real rock. A real rock. No, that's yeah. fair. No, but like, it flies like a real <laughs> that's rock. That's a good point. Flying like an ROCK, uh, it just dies uh, everywhere you put it. But it's a, just a really reliable approach disc. And the K1 soft plastic, I think I've said it like 100 times, feels so good. So friggin' good. Um, next up, let's see. The, the Grime, Grime X. Um, I found the regular Grime to be a little too flippy. Uh, maybe in a tailwind I would have liked it or something or if I knew to put it on a bigger hyzer. But the Grime X uh, gave me the turn I was looking for and the finish. Um, so yeah, real real happy with this one. And lastly, the Goat. I had problems with the mids all day today. I don't think, uh, you know, this might be something that I don't like about Castaplast. Their mids don't really seem to glide that much. I don't know, what's a glide on here? It's a five. Um, just, I, I throw a lot of buzzes and I see, uh, the way the buzzes just kind of fly forever. I'm not seeing the same thing with my Casaplast mid ranges, but however, the uh, goat or the goot, I uh, love this disc. This one uh, had a couple throws with, um, seems really reliable, and again, just feels awesome in my hand. That great Casaplast plastic. So, there you go. That's what I like. Yeah. Mine is pretty similar, actually. So, I also love this. Um, I think while slower than a buzz, it's, it's very buzz esque and just straight, and maybe it's just the because it's less stable that one has the more glide. But I did also really love the Cax as well. Um, Especially in the K1 soft, soft yeah. plastic. Um, I can't stop bending it. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like the Verdict that I throw, um, which I think with a bit of oomph does still get reasonable glide and finish. Not quite as stable again. I, I'd say my number one 
thing right now is all the the beaten discs seem to be a lot less stable and yeah. not all of them are that as seasoned in. I'd like so. to also just join in on my love for the Cax. Great disc. Um, the lots, I don't think I threw it a lot. I threw it into a tree. We didn't today. throw it lots. No, <laughs> we, we didn't uh, throw it a bunch, but um, I've thrown it before just out with my buddy. So I've enjoyed that a lot. It reminds me of an Undertaker or something like that with just a bit of hyzer. That thing will go and really far. And if you're far. into domey discs, I mean, check this out, man. <laughs> That's a domey disc if I ever saw one. Looks like a uh, spacecraft. God love the Berg. Uh, our buddy Nate, who owns these discs, bought me this for my birthday, and I've loved it. Original I, artwork by uh, it's by not Gonzo yes, here. Rough. It says Stark, and the case. Stark. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and I honestly loved the Rico X. I throw a lot of uh, peers. If you ever see us on Instagram, that's what I throw like 100% of the time. The Rico X. Yeah, I throw other. I throw Ballista Pros and peers. Sure. But I love this thing just for that extra bit of stability. Um, didn't throw it too much in this video, but I'm enjoying the fact that it's just... I did throw it right into a tree. Table. It has a lovely new scuff on it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I, I think lastly, probably just want to throw these more because they feel great. Yeah. I, I did yeah. mention that the track on the Rasks, I'm not a fan of, but I think if I just get used to that, I was liking their stability for the long throws. And then the yarn, I think, in regular play, I'd be probably throwing this. A Number lot. one, I could see myself uh, bagging Castaplast in the future for sure. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for more of their uh, soft stuff. Soft stuff in that K1 soft. Oh, and I won this too. So, um, congrats! I'm two and zero in our review videos. Two and zero. I won the RPM. Did you really? Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. I gotta get my end game out here next time. All right. See you guys.